So I recently realized that I have a slight obsession with the sky. It's my phone background, my channel art, and my favorite thing to take photos of. So when I came across these cloud walls on Pinterest, I knew I needed it. And that's what we're doing today. Hey guys, welcome to part two of my extreme bedroom makeover. I am so excited for today's video. We are basically doing a cloud mural on this wall behind me. It's honestly a huge wall, like this is gonna take some time. But if you haven't seen part one yet, would highly recommend that you guys loved it, which makes me really happy. But also, if you haven't seen it, you don't know what we were dealing with. I was literally living in a frat house. I'll show you guys what it looks like now. It's definitely like not done, obviously, because it's only part two of three, but I'll show you the progress. This is an overview of the room right now. You guys can see this wall and this wall are looking significantly better. We've come a long way, I'm not gonna lie. Also, if I look red right now, it's because I am. I'm literally a tomato. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but she's a little, a little red. This is the wall we're going to be painting. I wanna try and move the bed up a little bit more so I can like film this better, but it is literally massive. For size comparison, this is me in front of the wall. So yeah, she's big, which is why I'm getting Adeline to help me because that is just, that is too much for one woman. I'm very capable, but I'm not capable of that. So right now I'm basically just waiting for her to come back and then we're gonna go to Home Depot, which I will take you guys along for, and then we'll get started with the room. Okay, it is quite a bit later now. We made a pit stop at Sweet Greens in Starbucks Chipotle. because, oh yeah, I forgot you went there, but we're definitely gonna need coffee because we're gonna stay up really late tonight. We're also gonna drink wine while we paint because I just think that's a vibe. But yeah, we're headed to Home Depot. Remember when we were wine, we were drinking wine and painting my thing in Canada? Yeah, I know, I thought about that. I was like, we need to sign <laughs> in the, the corner once we're done. <laughs> Hell yes, this is what we need. I'm literally gonna add so many. Okay, we secured the goods. We have some paint, more paint, sponges, rollers and paint brushes, and some other shit. Hey, what do you think about the earth being flat? Um, it makes me sneeze. Guys, this man just came up to us and tried to convince us that the earth is flat. Adeline was connecting with him, but I was like, I gotta go. I love the crazies. I connect with okay. the crazies and kids. We just did a photo shoot in Home Depot, and for some reason, like, they kind of go off a little bit. Like, they're kind of cute. Look at my ass. I mean, go off me. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, I'm ready to get the f out of here. Adeline has a slight shopping problem, I think. Okay, we made it back. Adeline is doing the painter's tape right now. It is literally 12.15 a.m. Oh my God, this is so satisfying. We're drinking the Post Malone wines. Ah! Ah! Cheers to a long night of painting. She doesn't even like this wine. It's not very good. Sorry, Post Malone. So this is how the mural's coming along so far. Honestly, it looks pretty good, and it's all thanks to Grey House Studio on YouTube. This video literally has like less than a thousand views, but he's coming in clutch. Like, we're honestly copying him. Like, kind of good. Okay, we want to watch a Netflix show while we paint, but I don't know what to watch. This show is fire. I really want Adeline to watch it, but I want her to like pay attention, you know? It is now 2 a.m. and I'm surprisingly not feeling that tired, which is really good. Adeline was, so I gave her permission to go to bed because she was mostly doing the outlining anyways and I'm doing the blending and that's pretty much what's left. So I'm just gonna blend for probably another hour or so. But like, she's looking pretty good. There's like a yellow patch right there that needs blended and like overall, everything just needs a little more blending. And then tomorrow we're gonna add the blue. I just, you know, it's 2 a.m. We're not gonna do that tonight. We'll do that tomorrow. Okay, I wanna try something. It might look horrible, it might look cool, but we're just gonna go for it. Basically, it's this painting technique that, I forget where I've done it before, but I've done it before, where you basically take a plastic bag, you dip it in the paint, and then you just kind of like, use it to create texture. I'm gonna test it out on the part that's gonna be like, hidden behind my headboard, just to like, you know, see if it looks good or not, but I think this could really elevate the painting, or ruin it, we'll see. I added in a little bit of gray, so it's a slightly different color. Here goes nothing. 
Wait, it kind of looks cool. I'm kind of into that. Okay, it is the next day. I'm getting ready to paint the blue. We're almost done, which is really exciting. I will say, I think I severely overestimated how much paint I was gonna need. Like, I could paint four cloud murals with the amount of paint I have. So this is the color I got. I really like this color, but to start off, I wanna have kind of like a lighter tealish blue around the clouds, like framing it. So I'm gonna mix my own color that is like a concoction of white, this blue, and then this bright teal color. I love how I act like I know what I'm doing, but I literally have no idea. <laughs> like I didn't even take art class in high school. Okay, I like this blue. I just wanna make it a little bit lighter. Wow, mixing this is so satisfying. <laughs> Okay, I think I actually want a little bit more teal and a little bit more white. Okay, I think this looks good. I'm a little bit nervous because I don't have Adeline to help me. Like, if I mess this up, it's all on me, so... I'm scared, but we're gonna try our best. <sighs> Let's go. Okay, never mind. I actually don't like that color for right there. I'm gonna save it for the top, but I'm gonna mix a new batch right now that's like significantly lighter because that is too harsh. We got our teal, hella white, and a splash of this blue. More white, more blue, and mix. Okay, I feel good about this new color. Guys, it is like three days later. I have been struggling with this mural, but I finally got it to a place where I'm like kind of happy with it. The sky was just so hard getting it like all blended and getting it the right color, but I think it's pretty cute now. I have literally made the biggest mess and I already like cleaned it up a little bit. Like I have like another garbage bag out there that I threw out and then this is all garbage. It's been a journey and honestly, I got like kind of frustrated through part of it, so I didn't want to film that. But now I'm like, okay, it's looking cute. It's looking much better. We have a lot of good like texture going on in the clouds. The only thing that's left is I kind of need to re like fluff this out because it just looks like harsh and weird. But once I re outline the clouds, I'll be ready to like move my bed and everything back. I'm still not even close to being done my room makeover because there's so much I want to do, but you guys will get a feel for like what the room's going to be like, you know? Because I feel like this is a big thing. Finally be done with this mural. So let's do this. Okay, for a girl who has previously had like zero painting experience, I had no idea what I'm doing. I've never painted clouds before. I think it turned out like pretty good. Now it's time to take off the painter's tape. I will not miss having all of this on my floor. Uh. We're gonna pretend that that never happened. It literally, I didn't notice it spill all on here. I don't know what to do. Ah, there's another spot. Someone was using blue paint, but it wasn't me. I'm innocent. <laughs> So our next order of business is unboxing my rug. I kind of want to do this before I put all my furniture back in its spot. I feel like it just makes the most sense. I am so excited, obviously. The carpet was a mess before, but I also just kind of messed it up even more. If you couldn't tell, I was the one who spilled the blue paint. But it doesn't really matter because we're about to cover it up. Unboxings this big are so satisfying. Ew. Why does this smell so bad? I don't know what to do. Okay, we're just gonna keep unboxing it. Oh my god, I lost a nail. I don't even notice. <laughs> Guys, I was so pissed for a second because I thought this was the entire length of the rug and I was like, uh-uh. I ordered 12 feet, this is not 12 feet. And then I realized it's folded in half right here. I went out to the living room. I was like, Adeline, they sent me the wrong size. I'm so pissed, blah, blah, blah. And I go in here, I realize it's folded. I come back out, I'm like, Never mind. She's like, bitch, you're so dramatic. My moments. I was a little dramatic. Oh this God. is Adeline's impersonation of when I, I thought the rug was too small. I ordered a huge rug and it's only six feet. Ah! 
Never mind, it's just folded. I'm good. <laughs> so one's 12 feet and one's 15 feet. So I think the 15 feet goes that way, right? 15 or, goes no, no, that no. way. Yeah, I feel you should it's do it long ways. Okay. Let's go. Like this wall's longer. And I okay. Think so you think it needs to return? Hi Alicia, I know you watch Brianna's wow. videos, so I hope that okay. you're having an amazing day. What are you doing? You too, TK. I'm giving a shout out to Alicia because she watches your videos. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, actually. Okay. What's well, gonna good. work? Teamwork. All right, now let's put the bed over top of this bed. Yes. Yeah, that was way better. Progress was made with that one. Uh-huh. Oh my god, that was so much harder than I thought it would be. But the carpet is down, the wall's painted, the bed's against the wall. Things are finally starting to come together after so long and it feels so good. I'm gonna be honest, I don't love the rug. But when it comes to finding a 15 by 12 foot carpet, there's just not a whole lot of options. Especially not a whole lot of cheap options. This one was around $400. It was like the best price I could find for a decent pattern. So this is like what we went with. The pattern's a little aggressive for me, especially with having this like mural thing. So I have another rug that I wanna try layering on top of it because laying rugs is just a really cool look anyways, but I think it'll help like mute the pattern because it's like a plain rug. I'm also hoping that once I add my side tables and the bench at the end of my bed that I'll just like like it better because I don't love it right now so I'm all nervous but we're just we're gonna put everything in place and I'm hoping that it'll be cute. Okay this is the rug we're gonna try hopefully it looks good. Honestly they're really similar in color so I think this should be cute. I have to try and do this one by myself so we'll see how this goes. I think I'm gonna like it though I think this is what the room needs. Oh my god, doing this by myself is so much harder. Whoops, when I moved the bed, the camera fell. Guys, I don't know if this is a lot of work or if I'm just out of shape, but I am working up a sweat, so I put my hair up. And the final thing I am going to do tonight is hang up a neon sign above my bed. This is what it looks like. It says girls just want to have fun. If you've watched any of my Toronto vlogs, then you probably recognize it. But if you didn't watch them, then just wait. It's really cute. I'm going to start with this one and we're just going to go for it. I somewhat have it measured, but we'll see. I might ruin the wall. There. I just waited it. There. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Can you tell I'm tired? I literally don't care about messing up this wall. Okay, I feel like this is a good height. I'm tired. Okay, cool. Go. <laughs> we need to make sure this bitch is straight. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a thing. I don't really know what I'm doing, but we're gonna do this. I feel like I need a second person to like make sure this is straight. I'm scared. Okay, because I'm a genius, I decided that I'm gonna use tacks right now just to like help me eyeball it and make sure it's straight. Tax keep falling out, but I think it's pretty good. <laughs> okay, moment of truth. Oh my god, it looks so good. This is honestly a vibe. Update, I've changed. It's quite a bit later now. We're eating Cheez-Its. Um, that is all I have for you guys in this video, though. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, at Brianna Renee, if you're not already. Subscribe for part three of this series, as well as, like, tons of other great videos. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day or night. I'm going to spend the rest of my night cleaning this. Wish me luck. <laughs>